here's a field that was ploughed around uh, nine years ago. Um, it was formerly a field that appeared to have lost some topsoil, probably due to being burnt during the famine. It was a field that got very shallow as you went down here. Now the uh, original <coughs> plough nine years ago was uh, completed with seeding with perennial ryegrass. And while that proved successful for about two to three seasons, it diminished rapidly after that. The persistency wasn't there. Um, it wasn't also in line with my thinking of uh, a low input system. Perennial ryegrass leads a lot of uh, nutrient, a lot of nitrates to drive it on. So what I'm doing here now is, as you can see, I have ploughed the field. Uh, sorry, ploughed the field. I have um, topped the field after it was licked for rushes. There was a heavy infestation. I've come along and I'm now in the process of mole ploughing the field. I'm mole ploughing to a depth of approximately 15 inches because the capabilities of the tractor, 80 horsepower, that's as deep as it's capable of pulling the plough through this type of soil. So when I have this done, I intend to let the moulds cure for a period of time. And it's more for a disruptive process of the soil than for any long-term drainage impact that I'm doing this because this is going to be re-ploughed in the direction of the fall, uh, which means there'll be different plough directions in the field as it's been ploughed. But the purpose of that is to ensure that water is actually able to fall off the land um, and exit on the slope of the hill. And we hope then to reseed. And the reseed mixture will be a mixture of traditional grasses, um, Coxfoot, Timothy, Medifescus, a mixture of both deep rooting uh, highly nutritious and lower nutritious but sod creating grasses. Um, that will be followed on by an application of um, a new compound called Bactericel which has been used in France for the last 30 years and um, that brings back into the soil a mixture of uh, bacteria, fungi, enzymes and microbes and what it does is it assists in opening up the soil in improving the ability of the soil to release uh, vital nitrogen, nitrates and phosphates, which means that the requirement for fertilizer is radically altered. That and also the fact that I intend to put a high uh, clover cover with the um, grass itself uh, should improve the ability of this field to grow grass. The significant thing about this field is the cattle never liked it. They never liked the grass on it. Even with a good crop of grass, they'd never stay very long on it. And we have bare field over the far side and they would stay for longer periods of time and eat it to the clay. So there's obviously something lacking in this ground. The other product I hope to use once the crop is established, probably with uh, something like um, one bag to the acre, of 10 10 20 uh, once the grass is established is Neutrog. And Neutrog is um, more or less an organic fertilizer composed of seaweed, chicken manure and um, carbon in the form of coal dust. That improves the uh, humus content in the ground. It also allows the buildup of humus over time which is essential to good grass growth and good productivity. So that's it in a nutshell. That's what we intend to do. This is the second part of um, my land improvement in Leitrim's project. Um, you can see the moles there now. Um, I'm having a current problem here in places where the fact that the Russia infestation is high in some spots, it gets caught under the front of the plough and over a period of time I have to stop and adjust and remove because you'll see here in one or two places, if I can find them, where the plough actually exited the ground at a very shallow level, uh, about six inches. That's not what I want to see happening. I want it to remain down the proper 14 inches. But this hopefully will help uh, to shatter the soil prior to being um, ploughed uh, for reseeding. And I think it'll do a very good job.